Hi, my name's Tom. I'm with Off Grid Green. Uh, we sell all sorts of off grid and sustainable products. The website's offgridgreen.com. We have everything from wind turbines, solar panels, inverters, rain catch systems, composters, everything in between, and all the outfitting supplies you need for tiny homes. So everything right now, I just hand tighten these mm -hmm. because you know tonight so you, I'm gonna take it off. But so. you basically bow it out, yep. and, then, and then so it's and it's. It's a plane, it's a wing. Yeah, it's a wing, same design. Mm -hmm. So it hits the leading edge, and then because of the aerodynamics, it spins it. Uh, your interior ones is really kind of what gets started at lower sure. mile lower, per hour. Yeah. So they will. They'll, 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 they'll catch because they, 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 you know, they, they catch the uh, mile in from any direction so mm -hmm. they can get it started. I do know that once these get started, the nice part about them is they get in their own way. Yep. And so they won't ever over rev. Yep. Mine were always this plane. And I've had to actually shut them down because of, you know, too much weight. Yep. Put a speed Beautiful. brake on it. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, they do. Yeah. And basically yeah. what the speed brake does on the old ones, it opened up. Yeah. And it basically got in the way. Okay. These do it automatically. This is much better. To, now, the only thing is, you will, the, is this the size that you're doing? This is the largest or do you have larger? Yeah. This is the largest for the vertical axis. Right. right. Because I, I take it, or do you put a bearing up here? I do not prepare. So it's basically just off the top bearing yep. there. Okay. Because that's that's a disadvantage to them is you usually have to run cables out mm -hmm. and you don't have to on this. No. Uh, so we have a telescoping pole that's 20 foot high mm -hmm. that we put it onto. And that pole has got the cables, cables on it to make mm -hmm. sure everything's nice and sturdy. Mm -hmm. so the generator is right down in this section here. Okay. So the generator, it's you don't have to have any slip for the contacts. The Generator is below the turning shaft, Correct. so you don't have to have that. That's a that's a good because that's something that would get corroded. Yeah. Once in a while, I had to go up and polish them off. Yep. That's a good design too. Yes, yeah, so one of the reasons why we went with this company because our whole business model is you know, the do-it-yourself average Joe. Mm -hmm. Most people wouldn't know how to go up there and polish the bearings or all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. we we figure out we find products that are very low maintenance mm -hmm. and very easy to put together. And what was the wattage output on this? This is 400 an hour. 400 an hour. What's your lowest speed to game on that? Six miles per hour. That's okay. where okay. it'll start producing electricity at six. Probably about 175 to 200 watts. And then at 17, that's optimal wind speed. Now do the full 400. That's, okay. that's a really low speed. That is. Yeah. For, for wind generator. It really is. And the combination of the wind generator, the solar panels, it makes most of sense. Yes. Winds usually come up in the morning or in the evening yep. when there's not enough sun, when there's a storm, when there's, there's wind, wrecks. when there's clouds, there's wind. Yep. Yeah. At night there's, there's wind. Makes, so yeah. makes sense. So how does this how does this uh, 400 watt wind turbine compared price wise compared to a uh, horizontal axis of like a regular, With a regular style blade wind turbine right. price wise per watt so to speak? Um, they're actually very comparable in uh, wattage per I guess dollar, if that's the yeah. calculation you're doing. Uh, the advantage of these is uh, it's pretty much omnidirectional, so you don't have to have that consistent one way. So you have swirling wind or wind that changes directions a lot. This yeah. will be able to pick it up you much easier. Have, yeah, you yeah, you don't have to worry you about trying to, worry to about orient your yeah, constantly yeah. changing a way for yeah. the wind to get strong enough to be able to move, move it, it itself. Yeah. So, it's a, so if you have a lot of trees, you don't want to cut them all down. That causes wind turbulence. Yep. You still get power out of the wind. Still, yeah. Any, yeah, omnidirectional wind, which is a great benefit. What's the What's the cost? Five hundred twenty-eight for the four hundred watt. Okay, that's, that's bad, actually really. less than what I paid for my four hundred fifty watt back in nineteen seventy-three. <laughs> so yeah. you know, sounds that's, like we both have some horror stories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, my first tower was a pine tree. There was like three legs. I yeah. cut them, cut all the branches yeah. off, and put it up there with baling wire. Yeah, <laughs> but it worked. 